Final assignment of the night for Mark Smith. Terrence Mitchell, plus 525 on the underdog side. Raul Rosas Jr., the minus 750 favorite. If you are curious, he was a minus 240 betting favorite in his loss to Christian Rodriguez back at UFC 287. This fight clock is brought to you by Jimmy Johns. Rosas Jr. in green, Mitchell in white. Mitchell's oh, oh, oh. Nice jab by the kid early. And both of these guys sprint out the gate. I see the eight minute mark being a real <laughs> difference maker for these guys. That's right at the halfway point of the fight. If they don't get each other out before that, it's gonna be interesting to watch. These boys throwing, man. Oh, good connection by Rosas Jr. Forces a shot from Mitchell. I mean, oh. I mean, both guys are like, oh, oh. Jr. with a huge left. Jeez. All over him. He stiffed him. Nice Thanks. mount, straight to mount to finish it strong. Oh, oh. Mitchell covers up. We start with the changes. Raul Rosas was able to connect the better punches. This kid can crack. We know he can choke and grapple. Daniel Cormier in stunned silence down there. You got to be kidding me with this kid. 18. Unbelievable. Look at his mom. She's so filled with emotion. The kid fought angry tonight. He was mad because of what happened last time. Look at this. I mean, Terrence just dives in there, and then Raul hits him with the big left, stiffs him. Terrence goes back, falls down, Raul jumps on him. It's, I mean, this ground and pound is nasty, too. That left hand hits him right on the button. He goes stiff. You knew that Terrence was fighting too nervous. He was going to leave something open. And once Rosas got him, I mean, he took his back and just tried to put his head through the mat. What a performance by the young man. Well, I hesitate to say Raul Rosas Jr. is back. But man, this is a huge result.